Short and back down with the type of video I haven't done in a while. It is a tractor review. I got a lot of them. Um, these are my pickups I got um, today. I'm not sure. This video will most likely not be out tonight. Um, from the Westmoreland Fair. Um, demolition Derby from that. Um, I got these tractors there. Also, I got this one. These two. Took these out of the package a while ago, but I have them. I'll do the review on them. Yeah, this thing comes with a grain cart. Um, yeah, and here's a view of everything. And anyway, the Westmoreland Fair Derby was good, but it kind of got too long with all the minor classes and everything. And then I had to leave before the four cylinder main came out. But anyway, I'll be uploading a video of that soon. But anyway, tractor review time. So, so the tractors I got at the Huntington Fair. Um, this is, I guess we could I'll move everything over to this side here. Of course, I don't think this orange looks good in this red background, so I'll put it like this. This is the Alice Chalmers D19. There you go, there's a nice view of it. Um, the D19 Alice just came out in 164 scale. Alice is um, kind of rare to find in the 164 scale world, so. I might as well pick one up. Here is the rear end. Oh, I don't want it rolling down. There is the rear end of it. Nice steering wheel. The other side of the D19. Now front. Very nice looking tractor. It's nice and metal too. Uh, Alice is different. Again, I said Alice isn't my favorite tractor, but there's, I still do enjoy them. There's not really a brand of tractor that I. Uh, I do like every, nearly every brand of American tractors, um, American or Canadian, Cliffy, including Cockshut, but, uh, yeah, so, I like, I'm not too fond of Euro tractors at all, so that's just the Alice, uh, D19. Next one we got, before we get to the unboxing, is the John Deere 4430. Uh, red and green don't go good, good too good together, guys, what do you think? Now I got my, this is the 2015 calendar. I'm using it as the background for all farm display tractor reviews now. So what we got here is a 4430. I say this John Deere 4430. Um, the way this was made compared to how IH tractors and 164 scale with the same caliper is bad. They don't put cab glass in the cab and that's, focuses that will be out of that's out of line there so yeah that's just not looking good there at all all right back at the 4430 I uh, pause it for a second there but uh, anyway the 4430 in itself is not too good I like the tractor it's nice and well built at least the frame of it is the cab on um, the sticker job is not nice but um so yeah the rain doesn't go good in red, and that doesn't mean I'm I'm a farm all guy, but I say I don't I'm not an enemy of John Deere. In fact, I like John Deere. They're my second favorite brand, but I'm gonna say they just don't go well together. I'm gonna say that. Um. So I, yeah, you know, it's I do like the 4430. 4430 is one of the, my favorite John Deere's that were made, but I just don't think this one was made that well at all. If anybody has an uh, easy way to put cab glass in these things, let me know. If I do have an idea to make it a factory open station, just with the four post or OPS on it, props, whatever you want to call it. Oh, well, it's not going anywhere right now. Get my shit out of here. It said the lighting in here sucks, but yeah. So there is the John Deere 4430. Move that over to the sidelines. Um, here's what it came with. This is 180 degrees from the tractor. Um, this is this right here. That this is a John Deere 500 grain cart. I like this. This is very nice. It's nice and metal. Um. I do think that's kind of cheap there, but the pipe moves out, and it's really good. I like it. Nice rubber tires. Of course, all 
basically everything I bought from the rubber tires, but still, this is really nice. Um, I had it focused in. Yeah, so here. Come on, focus. There you go. 500. 500 gram cart. Very nice. There's the interior of the bin. Yeah, here's what it looks like. Hooked up to. And oh, jeez. I can't really see if it's hooking up or not. Oh, it's rolling. Let's get back here. And then, yep. Yeah, alright. It's hooked up. This is what it looked like. Looks up. Looked up to the 4430. Fairly nice setup now. That's basically everything we got at the Huntington Fair. We will move on to the unboxings. First thing I am going to be unboxing is this Ford 5000 here. Um, yeah, it's a nice tractor. I don't know if you hear that or not. Got flying up the road. That's ten bucks at the ten bucks at the Westmoreland Fair. Uh, so I cast the metal when I start to get to opening it. I will pause it for that. But first of all, let's turn the new Vista box. Nice blue of logo there. Um, it's produced from 65 to 76, manufactured in Highland Park, Michigan. 5,400 bucks, the original price in 67. 69 horsepower, engine horsepower, uh, 87.5 wheel base, and then the French specs. Um, I believe that's French. Uh, and I guess I'll open it now. Once I get it opened, I'll finish your review. Alright, here is the Ford 5000 with the rake out of the box. And, uh, it looks pretty nice, you know. I didn't take a good look at it yet, but... This camera doesn't like to focus on it. Let's say Ford on the grill there. Oh, jeez. I need to fix this studio area here. See if I put it up in the light here. Yeah. Come on, you stupid thing. There you go, four five thousand. Of course, you can't hold it up in the air forever. Zoom out. As far as saying, there's the best view. That's the what we got. Four five thousand. Oh, uh, nice fenders on it. Not too really many people run Ford around here, but I um do see a couple of these around but the, our school actually had a Ford 2000 industrial Ford 5000 really nice here and the hay rakes basically just the basic Ford New Holland hay rake I guess same as my other one I got two of them here which is good I could probably set up in like a rake tandem or whatever but just a basic little hay rake nothing much to it that is, and here comes the front of the Ford 5000 card. That is the 5000 with the hay rake. Next thing we got is the two, um, we got some red tractors to review next, so we'll do that after this. Alright, here is the next review. It is the Case IH Magnum 730, Case International. Um, it's a very successful tractor, the Magnum was. It kind of pulled both companies. There's one of the things after the merger between Case and International. If you, I'm not here to tell you that whole story, but we'll say enough. It looks nice the way it is, and it became a very successful tractor, and it was probably the best for both companies. It pulled them out of the farm crisis of the 1980s, but it is a very successful tractor, and I do like the look of the Magnum. Pretty much. Um, Magnum 7130 uh, 73,200 bucks for the original price in 93 years produced 1987 to 1993 18.3 wheelbase length and 170 PTO horsepower with these French specs looks like it's running a planter or yeah it's a planter I don't think it's a grain drill um, and here's the tractor. We'll get it out of the box and be back for you. Here is the 7130, guys. This thing is nice. I tell you what, it's got some 
cab glass to it. Um, let's say Magnum there. You probably can't see it because my camera does not like this review, I guess. Case International 7. Oh, let me just focus that. Alright, I'm sorry this video is so bad, but bear with me. See, it focuses in. There, yeah, that's the best view I got of it so far. It doesn't camera ain't doing it justice. This is a case international back in the back windshield, which is cool. Has the thing, I guess, slow moving vehicle signs, what you call that. 7130 Magnum, case international. Really nice tractor. I, I oh, the thing fell down. My bet thing I dislike about it is the coloration of the how the lights would be up there. It's kind of off windshield wiper. It's real nice. There's the cab in there. Interior detail, this thing's really nice. And if all my farms play, this will be replacing the 1086 as the main tractor in the farm. Because that is getting a little old. This, I guess this will be like a 93 case, or I guess, but like I said, the farm doesn't have enough money to buy new stuff. We gotta use the older stuff. That's kind of why I bought these stuff, and I'm not buying newer stuff. So that's the 7130 there, guys. Um, and here's the card. I already went over the specs. It's that running with the corn planter there. I believe it's the corn planter. I see it. Yeah, that is the case. Now we got one more tractor. Alright. This is probably my favorite tractor of the nights that I have been looking forward to review. This is the 1568 V8 IH. You know, um, I'm, I love International, they're my favorite tractor, so, you know, I said I've been wanting to get this, and, um, of course, 11 bucks. Pick these last three I've reviewed here, well, last two I've reviewed, including this one. I bought the Westmoreland Fair, the other two were at the Huntington Fair. Um, yeah, IH 1568, get, get the back of it. International Harvester 1568 $26,980 original price and 76 years produced 74 to 76 105 wind blades length 150.70 PTO horsepower the French specs now let's rip in here right, here's the 68 guys 1568 um I'm not even gonna bother focusing. Yeah, I should focus. Here is the 1568, guys. Um, International 1568. Oh, here it is. It's a very nice looking tractor. The two V8 stacks. Basically, the International truck engine. Like, so these weren't two big hits on the sales floor, but very nice uh, piece to have if you're an IH fan. Um, the back of it. This has cab glass as well. Which I think separates at least the 124 scale the way Ertl makes. I, of course, I'm not, I haven't ordered too many John Deere tractors, but from what I've seen, the cab glass on the Deers, they don't come with cab glass, and the IH ones do. So that's the reason why I'm not in the mood to buy any Deers right now. But at least uh, my friend at uh, Mom's Zach Cast Reviews 22 has a John Deere um, 9410R with a uh, cab glass, but that's new four-wheel drive stuff like that so y you expect it to have cab glass um but for all the newer ones like the 4430 doesn't you know the three pack of 4430 4440 4450 doesn't either so um yeah there it is nice tractor stacks on there v8 once again come on the camera this thing back out of focus. Yeah, here's the tractor around. Very nice piece. Red is. Red is a nice the red on the bread. That looks nice there at the review. And there is the 1568 right behind it. This has been another review here. Um, thank you. Please like and subscribe. I'm doing a Q and A video. Just leave the thing back here. I'm not sure I'm gonna get that announcement video out. But I'll do it soon, so if you stayed in the video, thank you, and please like and subscribe, I will see you later.